Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find broken links on your website so that you can fix them. Now, why do you wanna fix them? Well, for user experience, finding a broken link that, that results in a 404 error or a page that doesn't load is not good. It's not a good user experience. And also, it's a ranking factor in Google. So if Google finds that you have a lot of broken links on your website, they're not gonna rank you highly because they know the user experience is not gonna be great. So they will rank you below a page that doesn't have any broken links or any website issues. So that's one of the reasons we wanna check for broken links. And doing it manually is nearly impossible unless you have a one page website. Links are everywhere. So you wanna make sure that you have an automated way of checking them. And what we use is a plugin called the Broken Link Checker plugin and it scans your website on a schedule that you determine and it emails you and it shows on the WordPress dashboard what, where broken links are and what they are. So let's install that plugin right now and let's see if we can find some broken links. To install it, we hover over plugins on the left and then click on add new. We type in broken link checker in the search box and click on enter or press enter. And it's the very first one we see on the left by Janice. We click on install now. Then we click on activate plugin. And the plugin does two things right off the bat. Under settings, it adds an entry called link checker. And in your dashboard, it also adds a little meta box where it shows broken link information. And it's gonna be added to the very bottom. So here's the broken link checker box. It says right now, no broken links found, no URLs in the work queue, searching your blog for links. So because we just installed this plugin, it now has to go out and scan the website for broken links. So it's not gonna show instant results. It has to scan your site first, which takes a bit of time. If we go at, hover over settings and then click on link checker, we can set some of the settings to configure it the way we want it. In this box, we set how many hours between link checks. So what this plugin does is it keeps on checking the same links. It checks all the links on your site because links break. And we don't know when they break. We usually know why. It's because we make a change, but we weren't on top of things enough to know what that change affected. So we know why the links break, but we don't know when or where they're broken. So this link checker goes every 72 hours or whatever number you put in here is how often it checks all the links on your site. But keep in mind, the, the less number of hours you have in here, the more server resources are going to be used to check your links. Because it's not an easy task, it has to go through all the pages on your site every time to find a broken link. The default is 72. For most websites, 72 will do. If you have a high traffic website where there's a lot of people and having a couple broken links will have a serious negative impact on user experience, you might want to set this to a lower number of hours, maybe every 12 hours even. But 72 hours is good enough for most websites. And then in this section, you can check to, to get notifications of broken links. And then you can send them to individual authors if you want as well. You enter the email here, or you leave this empty and you use the, the, the admin email that's specified on the website under it says here settings and then general, which is where you specify the admin email. Link tweaks section. You can apply custom formatting to broken links. The reason you might want to do this is so people know in advance the link is broken so they don't waste their time clicking on it. You can even remove broken links. So if it finds a link is broken, you can edit the CSS. You can just add a display none command so the link disappears or even just remove the, um, the, the color and the underline so it doesn't look like a link anymore and then people won't click on it uh, until you fix it. And then you can stop search engines from following broken links as well, which is good because you don't want Google to find broken links. So I often have this option selected. I remove the broken link as well. And then for the suggestions, the plugin will suggest alternatives to the broken links. So for example, if you have an about page and the URL was yourdomain.com forward slash about, but then for some reason, who knows why, for some reason you changed it to yourdomainname.com forward slash about us. So you change that URL, and if that page was linked to from somewhere else on your site, those links are now broken. And this plugin 
will determine that those are pretty similar, about and about us, and it, it will suggest that is a fix. It will suggest changing those all those old links that went to the about that now go to the about us. And the broken link checker plugin also finds other errors on your site. And if you want, if you uncheck this box, all the errors that it finds will be shown as broken links, even though some of them won't be. So I usually keep this one checked. And when you've done all these settings and you're happy with what they are, click on Save Changes at the bottom. And we have a few more tabs to go through at the top. So at the top we have a tab called Look for Links In. And here you specify where we're going to look for links that are broken. So by default we have Comments, Pages, and Posts selected. If you have other fields in here that you know for a fact you add links to on a regular basis or that have links, you want to check those as well. I don't suggest that you go through and just blindly check all of them because the more pages it goes through, the longer it'll take to check them all, the more server resources you're going to use. So for example, if you know for a fact your contact forms do not have links in them, don't check that box. Just skip those in the scan. And then you can also set different post statuses to be checked. By default it only checks the published ones, but you can have it so it checks the scheduled, draft, pending, and private. So it will check all posts, not just the ones that are currently live on the site. So when you're happy with these settings, just click on Save Changes. I haven't changed anything, so I'm going to not save changes this time. And the next tab, which links to check, we'll click on there, and we can specify which, which links to check. I recommend you check all of these because you want to check links. So we want to check all the links that we have. However, if you know that you don't have an embedded Vimeo video, you know you don't have embedded daily motion videos, you can uncheck those. But if you know that you do have an embedded YouTube playlist, make sure you check this. So check the ones that are important to you. Make sure you go through and check all the ones you want. And then you can even exclude links that you don't want to check. So if the URL contains certain words, like for example, soccer mom, who knows, just making up a word here, but if the URL contains soccer mom, it's not going to check those links. Generally, I don't use the exclusion list because I want all links to be checked all the time because you just never know when they're going to break. So after you've checked all the links you want to check, click on Save Changes. Protocols and APIs, just keep these as default unless you're advanced and you know what you're doing. These ones are just fine the way they are. In the Advanced tab, the first option is uh, if, if the link takes more than this number of seconds, whatever you have in this box, by default it's 30. If the link destination takes longer than 30 seconds to load, the plugin will count it as a broken link, even though it may not be broken. That load time may just be a very slow website. It may be a crashed website, which is not a problem with the link, it's a problem with that website until the website is fixed. I usually keep this at 30. The link monitor, when you are inside your dashboard, if you check this box, Link Checker will run all the time. So for the dashboard widget that we saw at the very front, you can select which user roles can see that widget. By default, it's editor and above. You can set it to just administrator, or you can just not have that widget there. In the email that they send out and in the report inside the Link Checker, you will have these options for each link. So you'll be able to edit the URL, just with a couple clicks of a button. You can unlink it, you can say that's not broken, you've made a mistake, Mr. Plugin. You can dismiss it without any changes, you can recheck it, uh, which is the case if there's a link to an external site that's down, you can recheck that. So the remaining options are fairly advanced, we're gonna go through them anyway. The max execution time is when the Broken Link Checker plugin scans your website. This is the maximum amount of time, 420 seconds by default. You can change that to whatever you want. But this is the maximum amount of time that the plugin can search and parse your links on the back end. And then we can set the server load limit. Sorry to go back to max execution time. I usually keep it at the default at 420. For the server load limit, we can set how intensive the server can be working before the plugin shuts down. So the plugin might have server load because of something else, but the plugin also takes resources. So if the server load hits four, the plugin will stop working. 
until the server load goes below 4 again. And the current load is 0 0.07 on this test site that gets zero traffic. So it's not hard to hit a server load of 4 if you have a busy website. Target resource usage. This sets how much, how many resources the plugin can use. By default it's set at 25, which is just fine. Logging enables a log of what the broken link checker has checked and the results of that check. So in the plugin, in the dashboard, it only shows the ones that are broken. In the log, it will show everything. It will show everything that's good, everything that's bad. So you can enable that log if you want it to, or if you want to. And then if you do enable that log, you want to set down below where that log lives. So by default, it lives in the broken link checker plugin folder with this file name. So you can always go and look it up in there at any time you want, or you can set, change the save destination to save somewhere else. This option at the bottom, this is, if you click this button right here, it's the same as the first time you install the plugin. It will delete everything in its database, not in the WordPress database, it will delete everything in the plugins database, and then it will recheck everything from scratch. And that's all the options for this plugin. And if you made any changes here, click on Save Changes. If you didn't, just leave them the way they are. And we will soon see, oh, we have some results already. There, we found 13 broken links on this site so far. Detected 99 unique URLs in 292 links, and 13 of them are broken. So if we click on this link to see which links are broken, it will take us to another page where it shows you all the broken links. And it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the link that's broken. What happens? It's a 404. And what's the link text? Or is it an image? And on the right-hand side, it shows you where that link lives. So this first link that's broken lives on the sample page import. And if you go through, this is actually a theme that used to be installed that's no longer installed and all of the links are found inside of folders that are not accessible by the public. They're in the, the content folders. So all these broken links are irrelevant. So I'm going to actually dismiss all of them because they're all not actual links on the site. They're links to a plugin or a theme that doesn't exist anymore. So I'm going to check this box and then click on dismiss and then click on apply. And now there's back to no broken links found, and now I'll go deal with that that uh, that remnant of that theme, and those broken links won't appear again. And that's how we check for broken links, and that's how we deal with them when they're found. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to your YouTube channel, share it on social media, and check out WPLearningLab.com, where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.